Okay. Oh, okay, good. My greed paid off. Hit pretty much every tree I wanted to. Actually, that hit every tree I wanted to. What's up, Plane Crash Survivors? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my Let's Play of The Forest. Today, we are going to be working on the walls. Um, we're going to try and secure the walls. I think we got to get this... Um, I want to get these walls up here completely done today, and I want to start working on the traps on the outer part of the wall, okay? If you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. All right, so there's a couple things I want to do with this wall. First of all, even though I don't want to make a rock wall. Now, if you guys remember at the beginning of this Let's Play, I said I don't want to make a rock wall. But now I'm kind of wondering if maybe I can make a rock wall on the outside of this or something. Or like kind of like connected into the wall. Here, let's First of all, let's open the door. There we go. And let's, uh, let's see what we can do here at the rock wall. All right. Um, so I'm thinking maybe uh, the rock wall right here. Kind of like inside it, but not really. Just like... Uh, Something like this. All right, and then, um, yo, oh yeah, maybe. Yeah, this might work. Yeah, just kind of like an outer defense for it to just give it a little bit more strength. Now, I like the idea of the rock wall because the rock wall is a lot tougher. It's a lot tougher than the, um, than the wooden wall. But here's the thing I, here's the thing I didn't like about the rock. Oh, I should have made the rock wall while the wooden wall wasn't finished. Okay, you know what? Let's not do this right now. Let's not do this right now. Um, I think I'm going to finish the wall. What I should have done was I should have made the rock wall inside of the wooden wall before the wooden wall was finished. Because what you can do is you can really kind of put it on the inside. Just like that. But I'm, o I'm okay with it like being on the outside. I'll, I'll just like have it on the outside here as well. Just kind of like, you know, kind of like this. Kind of like that kind of setup. I think that's pretty cool too. But that's going to be that's going to be for a future video. And the reason I'm talking about that is because I'm going to be putting traps in front of this wall, but I'm also going to want to leave a walkway behind the wall so I can eventually get behind the wall even when the traps are up. Um, these wooden walls will get destroyed by cannibals, and I've been told pretty quickly. Okay, so that could be an issue. By the way, you can see I've been doing some work here. Um, so that could be an issue. All right, and it's probably something I'm going to have to worry about. Uh, so I figure we'll put the traps in front. Um, there's three kinds of traps I like. I like the happy birthday traps. Uh, I like the um, uh, the deadfall traps, and I like the spike traps. So we'll use those. I don't know why I brought this out here. I shouldn't have because this is just the one I'm, I'm using to keep sticks. All right, well, whatever. At least it'll be out here so I can put the sticks away when I need to. All right, I'm going to be using some TNT here. I did take a trip to the cannibal camp and grab some more supplies, including the uh, TNT, so that's looking pretty good. I think what I'm going to do now is I kind of want to use some TNT here, but I'm afraid it's going to blow up my wall. So why don't I go ahead and save, and then I'm going to come out, and we're going to use some TNT, and hopefully it doesn't destroy my wall. You know what, really quick while I'm thinking about it, um, I'm going to make one structure down here and one structure up there. Okay, down here, I believe, is going to be either... I don't know which one's going to be which yet, all right? One of them is going to be for storage. The other one's going to be my house where I live, okay? I want my house to be up there. I think the house would be cooler up there. So I kind of want my house to be made up there. And I'm thinking storage down here. Now, the only way that's going to work uh, for me is if I can use... I got to be able to get logs up and down this cliff very easily, Okay, and I was thinking zip lines to get the logs down the cliff, but zip lines are not going to help to get the to um, get the logs up the cliff. So what I was thinking about was possibly using the um, the elevator thing of Bob. If you know what it's called, it's not called an elevator, but that's basically what it is. Let's uh, let's check it out. The only thing is, I don't know if it's going to be able to. I don't know if it's going to be able to go high enough to reach up up this cliff. That's what I'm kind of wondering. It might be. Um, I don't know which side I want to put it on. Now it'd have to go on this side. I could always move this wall a little bit if I have to. Um, all right, so let's see what we can do here. Uh, I, I don't know if this is gonna work. I could always put a platform up first, I guess. Um, so let's let's find this thing. Forget what it's called. It is called a crane. Oh wow, you could. Oh no, you can't put the crane up that high. Wait, how high can I put it? Do you have to put it down first and then put it up? Possibly. I've only made this once. Oh, yeah, that's exactly what you do. Oh, wow, that'll work just fine. Okay, so I can put the crane. I could basically put a crane down here, and then what you do on the crane is you build tons of logs, logs, 
uh, storage on it. And then you can just fill it up, bring it up top, and that's good to go. I can make a, um, a zip line coming down and like a little catch area for the logs and then zip line the logs down. Or I could use the crane for that as well. Okay, that's not going to be today, guys. I was just kind of trying to figure that out. Um, but now I know how I'm going to do it. All right, that's cool. All right, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to use some TNT here and hope that this doesn't blow up anything we don't want to get blown up. Okay. So let's see what we got here. I'll put it right there. That should be pretty good, right? Yeah. Oh, it's going to fall right into my wall or... No, it's not. Wow, that could not have worked any better. Uh, I do want this stump out of here. Okay. And, um, wow, yeah, that, that worked out really well. That worked out extremely well. So let's go ahead and pick that up. That, I'm very happy with that. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab this stuff. Let's go ahead and put this in the log sled. Um, I do have to set up some traps for this wall. Like I said, I was going to put the traps right up against the wall, but then I was thinking about it. I'm going to want to be able to get behind the wall um, or in front of the wall behind the traps to uh, put up the the um the stone wall now the stone wall is a is a by far more solid wall it's definitely the wall you'd like to use the problem is i tried to make the stone wall last season for those of you guys who watched it and it just took for freaking ever like I, it's just never gonna get done so if i could work on the stone wall at my leisure that would be much better so i like the idea of using the wood wall and that will you know keep you safe for the time being and then eventually you can do the stone wall you know as you find time that's the idea I want to be able to make the stone wall, but I don't want to have to make the stone wall. You know what I mean? And if I was going to make my walls out of stone, I would have to make the stone wall pretty quickly. And, you know, uh, it's just, I, I don't really, I don't like, I don't love the stone wall. Again, I love the fact that it's solid. I just don't love the fact that it, it's, it, it just takes too damn long to make. Okay. So we've got, uh, how many log sleds here? Three, but one of them is sticks. Let's go ahead and put some more sticks here. We're going to need a lot of sticks, so. Um, only two log slides or no? Uh, yeah, only two log slides. Hmm. Did I really fill up two log slides already? Wow. We might have to make some more. I'm not sure. Let me get these inside. Okay, we are just about done with the wall, by the way. Um, so that is freaking sweet. All right, so what are we going to take down here? Uh, I'm thinking these trees right here. All right, let's go ahead and knock these down. Hopefully they don't fall into my wall. Okay. There we go. Oh, 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 move, move, move. Okay, we good? Yeah, we good. We good. We damn good. Hell yeah. Taking down like freaking 10 trees at a time. Okay, maybe not 10, but a lot. <laughs> oh, this is just, this is just great. This is how you freaking build a, this is how you build a resort, guys. I'm going to build a resort. It's going to be great. I'm going to charge 10,000 bucks a head. To come out here, it's gonna be like um, it's gonna be like Jurassic Park, except uh, instead of dinosaurs, cannibals. It's gonna be awesome. Bring out the kids; it'll be fun for the whole family. Maybe the Manson family. Ho oh, ho! Thank you, thank you. I'll be here all week. All right, so nothing over there. So let's go ahead and pick these up. We only need four more logs to finish the base, uh, the wall, which is nice. That is hella nice. Come on, there we go. All right, let's pick these up. Let's finish this up. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to use happy birthday traps, deadfall traps, and spikes. I'm not sure how, though. I'm really not sure how. Someone told me that, like, um, deadfall traps are impervious to being destroyed. Uh, the cannibals cannot destroy the uh, deadfall traps. Um, but that was before the game went full release. I'm not sure if that is still the case anymore. Um, but to be perfectly honest, I wouldn't use anything that the, that the enemy can't destroy. Because, like... Then it just gets too easy, right? You just hide behind your walls and you don't have to worry about the cannibals at all. Like, I don't want to, I don't want to, like, have it that easy. I mean, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's almost like, I mean, if I'm going to do that, I could just turn off the ability for them to do damage at all, right? And there is a, there is a, um, there is a setting for that. So, yeah. And I don't want to use it. I mean, I want them to be able to break in. I want to have to defend, you know? Um, the only thing I will tell you is if the can if the uh, mutants come, Virginia, you know, Cowman, Armsy, just leave your base. Do not, do not try and fight them from your base, or you will lose your base. Um, so, yeah, don't don't even bother. Don't even bother. All right, the wall is finished, guys. That is freaking phenomenal. Let's get all these out here. Let's get all the log sleds outside. Uh, I'm pretty hungry. Let's go ahead and eat some blueberries. 
Okay. I was hoping to get some health back by eating blueberries, but I guess that's not the case. Maybe I have to eat meat. I did hunt some deer off camera, so I do have some deer over there. They should be just about ready. So, all right. Let's get all of these log sleds away from the wall. Okay. And like I said, I am going to have like a little area by the wall that I could kind of get behind the, you know, the traps. That's the idea. Um, I also want to make a quick, quick area to save around here so I don't have to go so far um, to save. So let's go ahead and make this. Looks like we need some more sticks. Okay. Oh boy, it looks like it's getting dark. I'm not going to have too much time to mess around with this. All right, let's do what we can while we can. Close the door. There we go. Actually, no, leave the door open. I want to make sure I don't put the traps in the way. Okay, so let's have birthday. Let's have happy birthday traps on both sides of the door because that would be cool. Or possibly deadfall traps. Nah, nah, nah. Nah, nah, nah. Happy birthday traps. Now, I have no plan about how these traps are going to go, so this is going to be just up in the air. We'll see how things go. All right, happy birthday trap. Uh, the little thing goes right there. That's looking good. Actually, I wonder if I could leave it there. Uh, I could set it off. You know what? I could probably have this right up against the wall, and it wouldn't even be a problem. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. All right, so that goes, that's inside. That's inside. That's inside. I'm thinking like right there. Ah. All right, that's fine. All right, let's make sure that's okay. Um, yeah, that should be okay. Kind of like that spot. I think that looks pretty good. This uh, tree is obviously gonna have to come out of here. So let's chop this. Let's chop this bad boy down. And if you're wondering what I'm gonna need all the sticks for. It's the happy birthday traps. Um, so what do you think? Dead man, uh, deadfall trap, happy birthday trap, back and forth? Or I don't know what I'm going to do with the spikes. Um, maybe I should put the spikes right up against the wall. I'm afraid the, the cannibals will be able to jump on the spikes, though, to get up. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, you know what? If I'm going to put spikes anywhere, they probably should be right up against the wall. If you think about it logically. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? I think that'll I think that'll probably be a better idea. So let's check out the spikes. Now I don't know if the spikes do any damage or anything. Defensive spikes, that's all, it doesn't say anything, it just says defensive spikes. So I don't know if these do any damage, but they do look pretty badass, right? This is what you want up against the wall. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so it can go both ways, so that's fine. All right, so I don't want it inside of the door. I don't want it inside of the wall. Is that a good spot? Yeah, it looks like a pretty good spot to me. So let's put a few of these down. Okay, you gotta line these up. Ugh. So you gotta duck if you want to like not have to. Yeah, you you want you duck in order to um. That's the hotkey that makes it so you could uh the the ghost image doesn't disappear. Alright, this is probably going to be a little sloppy, but that's okay. Alright, so you good there? I don't, I don't really want it inside the wall, or even touch the wall, to be honest, but that's okay. Okay. Go a little bit far this way. Yeah, this is going to be a little, little sloppy. Alright, that tree's in the way. Alright, let's see how those look. Oh yeah, these look... Nah, that looks... That looks pretty decent, I guess. Ugh, not good enough. I want to see if I can line them up perfectly. I almost don't mind if they go into the wall a little bit. Oh, because the walls, yeah, okay. So it's not going to work. I'm not going to be able to have these lined up because you can see the wall is on an angle. So it's not going to line up perfectly. As a matter of fact, let's take that out. And let's, uh, let's go in and sleep for the night. And then we're going to come back in the morning and do it in full daylight. Yeah, I was hoping to like line the spikes up perfectly, but it's just not going to work because of the way the wall is set up. All right, guys. I think I got some laid down pretty good. I skipped the night. Oh, by the way, um, I was having trouble seeing. The game feels really dark um, in normal color grading. Uh, so I went ahead and I put it on modern. Yeah, it looks really dark and original. I don't know. It seems okay now. Um, I think the shadows really, really get crazy when you're in the sh when you're in like you know the shadows. So which is fine. But um, when I'm putting stuff down like this, I need to be able to see. That went well. Let's 
go ahead and chop this one down too. And we're gonna pick all that stuff up, and uh, we're gonna start building these spikes. I think they're I think they're good to go. I think they're good to go. Yeah, the spikes will be really nice. Um, basically, what'll happen is I'll put a I'll put like a little walkway behind the wall uh, that I could like kind of get up on the wall and shoot down at the at the cannibals if they're attacking the wall. And these will like if you're up on the wall and the cannibals are right against your wall, uh, you can't really hit the cannibals. But if you have spikes, then the cannibals are a little bit farther out. It makes it, you know, a lot more uh, reasonable to be able to hit them that way. So that's the idea. All right, let's go ahead and uh, I just want to pick up the spikes so they don't go bad. I'm not going to actually put them in the, in the uh, spikes on the wall just yet. Um, I will, just not, just not right now. Uh, let's go ahead and drop any sticks we have. I'm trying to collect as many sticks as I can because each happy birthday trap takes like freaking 50,000 sticks. So, all right, not 50,000 sticks, but a lot of sticks. I think you get what I'm saying. All right, so this one's going to be angled down a little bit. That is fine. Uh, let's bring it out a little bit. Yeah, it looks good to me. All right, now we got another one. There we go. And, um, yeah, that looks, that's fine. You can actually put that one in a little bit more like that. Uh, yeah, that looks good. Okay, and another. All right, let's uh, kind of bring this one around like this. All right, that looks pretty good to me. And then we'll put one more down, and then I'm going to kind of take a look at them all. All right, I really want this to line up. See, this is see how dark the wall is. I can't quite tell the angle it's on. Okay, that looks pretty good. Yeah, now nah, it's too far. That looks good. I think that's good right there. Okay, all right. Let's go along and see. Oh yeah, this is um. I think these are lined up pretty, pretty excellently, pretty excellently. <laughs> all right, so let's go ahead and build some of these. I'm gonna I'm gonna commit here. Uh, you know what? Before I build them, since I have an area so close to me, why don't we just go ahead and save? You know, just in case, save. I mean, you can't save enough, guys. Trust me. You make these mistakes, you'll wish you, you wish you saved more. Okay. I need to take nine each. Oh my God, they're expensive. They are hella expensive. But I got trees. You know. Okay, and yeah, that looks pretty good. Now can this hurt me? No. It doesn't hurt me. I don't I don't think it hurts the cannibals. Um but again, it's just it's just another barrier and it looks cool. It's it's mainly just for looks, really, I guess, because I don't really know, you know, if it doesn't damage them, it's just like another wall. Although I'm assuming it probably is stronger than a wall. Because a wall, like, for that amount of space only takes uh, five logs and these take nine. Because otherwise you could just build another wall. Why build these at all? They look badass. I've never built with them before. But they they do. They look, they look freaking... Oh, you know what I was thinking? How the hell am I going to get the stone wall up? God darn it. I didn't think about that. Uh, uh Cage... Let me see if I can reach it from here. I don't think I can now. I totally forgot about that. I mean, I guess I don't have to put the stone wall up, but I kind of wanted to. Maybe I could put it on the inside. I mean, I could do that. Yeah, well, I mean, you could probably still do it. Hold on. Let's see if we could still do this. Come on. You know what? I could probably still do it, guys. Yeah, I could still do it. All right, I'm not going to worry about it. If worse comes to worse, I don't have to put the stone wall up. And if, you know, if I really wanted to put it up, I could put it on the inside. But I think I could still get to it from the outside. Um, the only thing is I'm going to have to put the happy birthday. I'm going to have to leave a space in here between these spikes and the happy birthday traps. I want to get the happy birthday traps down now. Um, and the dead, I might not use the deadfall traps. I might just use only happy birthday traps against the wall and then maybe put deadfall traps out like in the, like out in the woods. Just, you know, maybe they'll hit somebody luckily, but I, I really think happy birthday traps are so much better. I wonder if I can reset them from the top of the wall. I probably can't. I don't know. This is all like everything I'm doing right now is really new to me guys. So just bear with me. I have never built like this before. I've built with wooden walls, but I never really did this with the spikes. I've never put the happy birthday traps outside my walls like that. Um, normally, I'd be building... I'd be perfectly honest with you. Normally, 
I would just be uh, putting uh, the bone zone up. I would just, you know, forget the happy birthday traps. Let's do the bone zone. That's what I'd normally be doing. The reason I'm not doing that is because I want to do something new. I just did the bone zone um, in last season. So, you know, I don't want to do the... I don't want... I'm, I'm going to do the bone zone again. I just don't want to do it right away. Okay. So, uh, I think we got some time to knock down some more trees. Let's go ahead and put a happy birthday trap up here and see exactly how we're going to do this. Okay. Happy birthday trap. Happy birthday trap. Did I pass it? I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, there it is. Okay. All right, so that's got to go on the outside, and I'm thinking a little walkway. Okay. Uh, is that good? That looks pretty good. And then, like, right here. What do you think? And then that'll give me the walkway to put the, you know... Yeah, yeah, I like that. I like that. I think that's going to work out quite nice. This freaking thing sucks. I hate these things. The developers need to give us a way to destroy those things, man. Seriously. I'll use TNT all day, you know? Just please give me a way to destroy them. That really just blows. Okay. That looks pretty good. I don't need a ton of area to walk in here. I won't. I won't hurt myself by walking on these these spikes. Actually, I probably don't need to leave an area in here because as long as you don't walk over the tripwire thing here, it, they won't go off. So honestly, I could probably even put them closer. Uh, you know what? Nah, we'll just. Nah, eh, why not? Let's put them closer. We might as well. There's no reason not to. And maybe if we put them close enough, uh, my thinking is if I put them close enough, maybe I can actually reset them from the top of the wall. I don't think so, but you never know. I mean, oh God, we could put them like right here. Damn. That's pretty next level. But then I can't get behind there. So no, I definitely don't want that. So I think if I put it here, I should be able to just walk behind there. Uh, that looks pretty good to me. Right? Good. And I should be able to walk over this no problem to put the stone wall up. Maybe we should finish this one? Yeah, let's finish this one. Let's just finish one, just so we know for a fact if it's going to work or not. And this is why you need so many sticks, because you need 20 sticks for one of these things. Okay, one more. Do I not have any logs lying around? No, I don't. Alright, let's go TNT some logs. I'm going to save the game first, though. Why? I don't know. Why not? <laughs> Doesn't hurt, right? Yeah, that's a pretty pretty nice setup. Mm, it's it's not perfectly straight, but it's straight enough. I don't want to waste those twenty sticks. I don't know if you'll get. I don't know if I'll get them back if I de if I take down the trap. Probably get some of it back, but not all of them. Let's go ahead and get some blueberries while we're out here. Okay, let's grab some dynamite. Uh, it doesn't look like we're going to get a bunch of trees here. Actually, if we throw it right here, we'll probably get a lot. Let's move these log sleds a little closer. Alright, I'm going to get greedy with this one, guys. See how we can do this. Maybe right in the middle, right? Right here? Sure. Why not? Okay. Oh, okay, good. My greed paid off. Hit pretty much every tree I wanted to. Actually, that hit every tree I wanted to. That was a good spot. Hells to the effing yeah. Knocked over one of my um, log sleds. That's how you know you put your log sleds in a good spot. If the if the trees that fall knock over your log sled, you did the you did a good job. Pat yourself on the back. Treat yourself to a beer. Where are you going to get a beer in this place? Well, there is booze. Yeah, treat yourself to a thing of booze. All right. Um, we are running out of time, so let me uh, pick these up off camera. And then we will... Uh, We'll do a little bit more work at the entrance of the base. Get some spikes going. Get some traps going. Call it a video. All right, guys. We got everything back over there. Uh, we got all the log sleds over there. We're ready to finish that uh, happy birthday trap. We're going to make sure we can walk behind it. And then, uh, yeah, uh, we should be good to go. Let's see what we can do here. How many does it take? Uh, it takes four logs, huh? We're going to need a lot of logs. Okay, so if you step on this, it goes off. All right? But if you come around here... It doesn't do anything. 
So that gives me an opportunity to walk behind it. That is cool. I mean, they can walk behind it too, but, you know. I mean, they're not as smart as me. They're not going to think about it. Or maybe they will. I don't know. But I think it's a I think it's a pretty cool setup. I really do. So let's uh, let's go ahead and finish this up. Let's put one more happy birthday trap down and then call this a video. All right. There we go. And why is that red? It's too close to the other happy birthday trap or No, really. Why is this red? It's kind of weird. Oh, because the other other happy birthday trap is completely built. God Darn it, I shouldn't have built it completely. Oh, I'm going to have to tear it down. Well, you know, guys, live and learn. Oh, that sucks. You know what, guys? I don't want you to see this. Oh, never mind. <laughs> never mind. So we don't get anything back for that either. Oh, see, don't finish the happy birthday trap until you're, uh, you know, um, until you've got them all down. Okay, well, that's okay. Like I said, live and learn. Anyway, I'm going to put this down off camera because I know you guys are sick of watching me put down ghost images and trying to make them perfect. <laughs> so thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.